In this lecture, I'm going to do a few of the problems from your packet that have to do with the Doppler effect so that you can um, get a better sense of how to try these. And we're going to be starting with number 11. Hopefully, I'm going to get all the way through 13. So in 11, we've got some sort of vehicle, let's say an ambulance or a fire truck or whatever, and it's got a, what I'm calling an ordinary wavelength of 0.88. Now, ordinary means that's what it would be when it's moving. So I'm going to call that my lambda naught. You have to make that decision pretty carefully. And then it's moving towards me at 30 meters per second. Now, that's the speed of the source. That's the speed of the car or the ambulance or whatever it is. And because it's moving towards, we have to make it negative. If you don't make it negative, you get it wrong. This is a sound wave, so the speed of sound is 340. And it asks, what wavelength would we observe? So that is what we're solving for, just plain lambda. So um, our formula, we can pick any two parts of that formula. I'm going to pick Vs over Vw equals lambda minus lambda naught over lambda naught. So I've got negative 30 over 340 equals lambda minus 0.88 over 0.88. Then we just have to do some math and solve this stuff. I really suggest that you pause the video and try to do the math yourself just to make sure that um, you understand how I got all of this. Um, make sure you get the same thing. So I just skipped a couple of steps and got that. I'm not going to add 0.88 to both sides. And so I get a lambda of 0 0.8 meters. Okay. So just try plugging in the numbers for yourself and make sure you can do it. You also might just want to try part B for yourself um, before I do it. So pause the video if you want, try it out, and then let's see if you got it right. So the only difference in part B is that now the speed of the source is going to be positive 30 because it's moving away. So I'm going to have positive 30 over 340 equals lambda minus 0.88 over 0.88. Basically, the difference here is that it's going to change a sign when I do this step. And so now I get a wavelength of 0 0.9596, let's call it, meters. Just rounding a bit. So check and make sure it makes sense. For the first situation, I got a wavelength that was smaller than the original one. That makes sense for an object that's moving towards me, whereas a larger wavelength makes sense for an object that's moving away from me. Okay, number 12 has a lot of words, but I basically took this from an astronomy book. Um, so what we've got is two stars that are orbiting each other. And so one of the stars is coming towards us, one of them is going away from us. Now it says that for a non-moving star, non-moving suggests to me that I'm going to be dealing with lambda naught here, we expect to see the light at 520 nanometers. That will be our lambda naught, because that's what we expect it when it is not moving. And we see the light at 518 for star A, and for star B, we see a wavelength of 523. So the first thing it asks is which one's moving towards us and which one's moving away from us. So. Um, we can just look at the wavelengths. We don't really even have to do any math to decide this. 
For star A, the observed wavelength is less than it should be. That means that star A is moving towards. And for star B, the observed wavelength, 523, is bigger than what it should be, 520. And so therefore, star B is moving away. And now we're supposed to find out how fast each star is moving. So what I'm solving for is Vs. These are light waves, so Vw is going to be the speed of light, which is 3 times 10 to the 8th meters per second, because it's light waves. And of course, just to remind ourselves, our formula Vs over Vw equals lambda minus lambda naught over lambda naught. So for star A, I've got Vs over 3 times 10 to the 8th equals lambda, which is 518, minus lambda dot 520, divided by 520. And again, practice plugging in the numbers for yourself. Always a good idea. When I do this, I get a speed for star A of negative 1.2 times 10 to the 6th meters per second for star A. It's negative. Negative means towards, which is what we already concluded. It's a very good idea to use this stuff to check what you're doing and make sure that what you're doing gives you a result that makes sense. I'll switch to a different color for star B, just so we can keep it distinct. But again, you may want to try it on your own, just um, to see if you can do it before you watch everything I'm doing. So, solving for this one. Vs is about 1.73 times 10 to the 6th meters per second. Notice that, ignoring the negative, um, this one has a bigger speed than that one. And you can also see that its wavelength is shifted more. For star B, the wavelength was shifted by 3, whereas for star A, it was shifted by 2. So the more the wavelength is shifted, the bigger the speed is going to be. Okay, one more. This one's a little bit trickier because in this one, I give you frequency and not wavelength. So this is very important. Students mess this up all the time. They start doing the problem and they start plugging in frequencies. You can't do frequency. You have to do wavelength. So we've got the ambulance, it's traveling down the road at 25, and it has an actual frequency of 490. Now, this ambulance is moving towards Mary, and so we want to know what frequency she hears. Well, the speed of the source here is going to be negative 25, and the speed of the waves, because it's sound, is 340. The real frequency, let's call it F0, is 490. But I really need wavelength. I need wavelength to do this. Now, I know that V equals lambda F. But which speed should I use? Well, the speed that we use in this formula is the speed of the waves, not the speed of the source. So if I do 340 equals lambda times 490, I get a wavelength of 0.69. And that's really going to be my lambda naught, because this was the real frequency of the ambulance. And so the wavelength that I get would be the wavelength that it would have if it was just sitting still. So I'm going to solve for lambda and then I'm going to solve for the frequency that I observe.
So my formula, Vs over Vw equals lambda minus lambda naught over lambda naught, I can say negative 25 over 340 equals lambda minus 0.69 divided by 0.69. Solve for that. I get a wavelength of 0.64, but I'm not quite done because it asks for the frequency that she hears. So again, I need to do a V equals lambda F. I can do 340 equals 0.64 times the frequency that she hears. And she hears a frequency of 532. That frequency is greater than the original frequency, which makes sense for something that's moving towards. And then real quick, um, the ambulance is moving away from Tim, and it just asks which wavelength. Now, lambda naught is the same because um, it's the same ambulance. So for him, I can just do positive 25. And get his observed wavelength is 0.74 meters. Bigger than what it actually is, as we would expect for something that's moving away from us. <laughs>